will be a little bit better now. Um, obviously, like I said at the very beginning of the stream, it is, um, it's my first time ever doing this. And my switch is also in my bedroom, which is not near my internet router. So it could be that. Um, I was thinking that it was dropping because Jordan was in the other room playing online. So that's also like he's playing online. I'm online streaming. It's just a lot. It's a lot for any computer to handle and Wi-Fi or whatever to handle. So hopefully this is actually working. Ah, balloon. All right, well, I'm just gonna play a little bit and hopefully we'll get some viewers on here. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry I've been dropping streams left and right here. Um, I will definitely be investing in a, a new router, an extender, like blah, 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 all of that because I definitely don't want my streams to keep dropping. Depends on the Wi-Fi. I mean, I guess my Wi-Fi is just not that great. Like, it doesn't really drop when, um, I don't know. I'm new to all of this. It's just like, when I saw, you know, I have, like, also my computer is, like, full. I have, like, a... Hey, Scarlet, please just work. Please just work. Hello. Ah, okay. It's working. Is it working? My God, you guys. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it definitely wasn't unhooked. The craggly is going to happen anyway. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, hello, welcome. Thank you, guys. New stream. And I know it was a minute. You know, I used the excuse to go pour myself some more water and use the bathroom, be a, to be honest with you guys.
Ah. Ah. All right. Well, welcome back to my, <laughs> my relaxing game. Ooh. Oh, Opal. She's new to my island. <gasps> January 18th is Sherb's birthday. Sherb is like my absolute favorite. Okay, let's go see if we can find Sherb and see what he's up to. Apple's doing some yoga. All right. Is this even cute? Mmm. It's a no. Okay. Let's see what's going on in Nook's Crane today. You know what? I'm just going to play my game and vibe. We'll see if I drop again. I mean, honestly, I'm not really sure. So I guess my audio... <sighs> That's the fun of like streaming. It's like this is the first time I've ever done it with the capture card and having my stream all the way in my bedroom. My Switch in my bedroom and not like in my room room. So... It definitely is like, ooh, I definitely need this. Hmm. I thought that was going to be more expensive than that. Usually the antique stuff is way more expensive than that. but So, I mean, the connectivity issue could be to deal with we were overwhelming our internet because we were streaming and playing online all at the same time. But... It could also just be our internet just sucks and we need a better router and a signal extender so or faster faster internet you know so we're gonna do that um oh i need the multi-stream chat on here we go give it a second there we go <laughs> hello craig thank you guys all for bearing with me and watching Still, still watching me. <clears throat> I know that I've had to restart the stream several times. But you know what? We're just learning as we go. And it's all good. Because now I know that I probably need better um, Wi-Fi. Yes. Um, Theran Therendril? I hope I'm saying that right. What's my favorite released Nearly Dead song minus Freak Show? Hmm. I have a lot of favorite Nearly Dead songs. I mean, I love... We always get asked that question. Like, what's our favorite one to perform live? I love... Um, frequencies. Um, I Said I Love because I wrote that song. Fact and Friction is another, like, favorite. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Babe, what's my favorite Nearly Dead song? Uh, the next one you write. The next one I write. The one I wrote today is pretty dope. Okay. I don't really need anything in here. Do I? Is there anything I can sell to them? I kind of want all this stuff. I guess I don't really need those glasses or that hat. Do, 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 do. Y'all are probably just like, what is this girl's deal? She keeps like, <laughs> her streams keep dropping. I need to give that to Blathers. Striped shirt. Do I want that? I don't even know. Was I wearing that earlier? I don't even know. This is all Christmas stuff that I have to get rid of. So I have to store. Because you know, next Christmas I'm going to want it. I'm going to need all the things. All right. Do 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 do. Thank you also, Theandril, for the follow. Appreciate you. All right. Let's go see if there's anything cute in Abel's today. So yeah, this is my. Let me give you continue the island tour. This is another one of my favorite sections on my island is the um, the fortune teller stand. So when I got the fortune teller set, it was like a game, a real game changer. 
because I thought it was just the cutest thing and it really matched like my style and stuff that I like so um, I, I made this you know at first I just had this in my bedroom and then I was like why don't I have a whole section for like fortune teller stuff I found this cool pattern online like fortune teller like uh, stall the stalls like once you learn how to customize a stall like um, then it like changes the game <laughs> um so odd sobriquet um no the audio is just coming out of one side and i don't know how to change that um because I have a Scarlet interface and my microphone is plugged into a singular channel and that's that's really the only explanation I have. So apologies if that's annoying to you guys. Um, I really I really don't know how to change that. It's probably something I need to um, like basically when you record like when I do like record software like I um, It doesn't matter if you're only going in through one input. It still records like in stereo, but that's why it's only coming out of one. I will look into the Apollo twin interfaces. Let's see. This is Snooty's yard. So she kind of is like, so when I started Animal Crossing, I did not like, I did not know like to put your villagers like all next to each other in these cute areas. So I never did. And so all my villager houses are just like randomly all over the place. But I still like it because it gives me the opportunity to give every villager like their their little own yard. So she's kind of like in the front garden area. She has her own little garden area. Um, And this is like uneven because I just wanted to make more pink flowers. I just wanted to make more pink flowers and now I have more yellow ones, but oh well. So this is all still set up for like Christmas. You like I'll change the colors of this stall. This is my little soup stand. <laughs> my Christmas, just little thingies everywhere. I love my little chess area. And so this is kind of my shop area and then my museum is up here. So I should probably go See if this graceful paint painting I have is real. I'm pretty sure it is. So I definitely do not just uh, buy art without checking it out online first. I always check the website before I buy anything from Red because he's shady and sometimes nothing that he has is real. I am fine. Hello, Ghost Fox. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate ya. Oh, Mar Marcelo, I'm gonna go with um, hello from Brazil. Hello. Thank you for joining my stream. Checking out my island. I definitely want to do more streams like this. Make it like a regular thing. Probably like a Wednesday night thing. Um... And just keep getting, like, it's a learning curve. So, like, keep getting better at the technical aspects of everything and figuring out how to make it the best it can be for you guys and for me. Because I have a lot of fun doing this. Um, I mean, I'm already going to play Animal Crossing, so I might as well live stream it and chat with you guys at the same time, right? Um, so, this is Lolly's house. I have her little villager photo there. Um, and then she is obviously a kitty, so she has her little kitty area. Um, litter, litter box and all that. Um, this is probably my favorite house. This is Chevre. She is like my main squeeze, my new like favorite villager uh, aside from Sherb. And her and Sherb actually like hung out together one time. Oh my God, they're hanging out together. Oh, oh my God. Look how, no, they're so cute. See, in my mind, they're married. Look how cute they are. All right, screenshot. I mean, this is just the most precious 
thing that I've ever seen in my life. She's so cute. And he, they're just meant to be together. Do you think Nintendo does this shit on purpose? <sighs> I should really give her a gift because I want her picture. Mm. If you guys were on the other stream and saw the inside of my house, you know why I love Chevrolet's Sh house. Because look, it's it has a piano. It has the grand piano that I want. If I ever get the grand piano in the game, like, it's over. It's game over. <sighs> Everyone's worried about me because I haven't played in a week. I mean, look how cute they are. They're going to get married. I lo oh. oh, I can actually push her into, like, over there. All right, I'm going to leave you two alone. Clearly. Clearly. Mm, clearly you're, you're up to something. They're so cute. Um. Okie dokie. And then this is like my pseudo rainbow garden. Um. Got the blue roses from a friend. A red out of these pink ones, which will probably build something, but I'm not really sure what. Um. So this is kind of my little rainbowy garden. And... So this kind of loops around to where my house is and this like beachy area. I still have one more piece to find for Gulliver. So I'm going to do that before I go all the way up to ooh, show you guys the rest of my island. Do, 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 do. All anybody wants to talk about is how I haven't played in a week. Thanks, fam. My other little bridge here. This is the newest place that I've just... Um, hi from Amber. Um, hi, Amber. Um, not really doing anything in the stream. I'm just kind of like showing off my island. Um, and if you are not familiar with um, who I am, I am the lead singer in a band. And so we've got some band fans on here. We've got some Animal Crossing fam on here. So I just love the game. I've been playing all quarantine and I've never really showed anybody my island. So I just, I don't know. I thought it would be fun because we we've been doing a lot of band streams and uh, we've been doing a lot of band streams. So I really want our channel to be a little bit of everything. Um, I want the band channel to be like live, like performance stuff. Also like us playing games. Like I was mentioning, I also have... Um, I do Skyrim on Switch. I just like, I'm just so excited that Jordan helped me figure out how to do the, uh, my fiance Jordan helped me figure out how to do the capture card and the audio. And yeah, the stream dropped like three times, but we in this, we fine. Um, I'm looking for communicator parts, right? Okay. I need one more. I have Gulliver today. I've had shooting stars, so I believe I'm, I'm still definitely on the lookout for that. Maybe I'll turn my, um, audio a little bit more up you know the one thing I don't really do I hungry tortoise is ESO Elder Scrolls online because if it is then it's like a no like I've never like I've never played it um, so here is my other favorite part of my island is my beautiful garden that basically this is Apple's garden. So this is Apple's little beach cottage and she's my favorite villager because she wants to be a pop star and so do I. So, I mean, we relate. <laughs> she just, I, I just think she's so adorable. Like everything she talks about is like so cute and I just really relate to her peppy like nature and I just love her. So this is Apple's garden. And it looks really cute in the winter. I love, I love how it turned out in the winter. I built it in the springtime. So this will be seasonal right now. There's a tree and like in the different changing seasons, like this will, this will be able to change and I'll kind of make it whatever I want. Some gold roses that I worked very hard to get. My little Cinderella. Well, this is a Cinderella carriage. This was a Halloween item. Um, Amber, we are... I, I am in a rock band and I also do solo pop music. So um, 
on our Twitch channel. It's the Nearly Dads Live. That's the name of our band. So we're also streaming live on YouTube and Facebook right now. So you can check our music out everywhere. The Nearly Dads, uh, we are all over the internet, Spotify, um, YouTube. We have tons of videos out there. So definitely check us out. Um, Elder Scrolls Online. So is that like um, a PC? Is that like something that you play? How would I go about playing that? So here's, okay, here I'm going, I'm just wandering now, wandering into my little mermaid area. Secret mermaid lounge. So this is my little mermaid lounge. Um, and I really, I have all the seashell stuff and I really just, the seashells are not worth very much if you just sell them without crafting. And I, I can't be bothered these days. I've been playing, like I said, this game, what did it say? 465 hours, so. Like, I'm, I'm all set with seashells. They just fill up your pockets. Like, I don't know. If I'm ever in the crafty mood or I'm trying to get a specific, like, item, then I'll collect them and sell them. And honestly, they're worth a lot if you do make them into, like, the shell furniture and stuff and then sell that. You can make a lot of bells that way, but... Hmm. Hi to Mike on Twitch. Raymore ESO. Um, huh. Yeah, I'll have to check out the Elder Scrolls Online. I think, I, I don't know if Jordan is familiar with it. So here's this new little area. I kind of built this to be like the Christmas, like New Year's like area for my villagers. This was really like an empty spot. So this is kind of a placeholder, but I really like it. I think it's cute. I love like the garden right in front of it. And then this is my campsite which I am so in love with my campsite. Of course, record players and guitars dot my island. I Everyone on my island is a musician, so I love. Um, I also don't really do the money rock thing anymore. Like I kind of just like bop it once and if like, yeah, I'm just like, okay, cool. I have like a hundred pieces of iron. Like I don't need any of that anymore. I'm so like, I don't want to say I'm jaded, but there's just certain things that I'm just like, nah, I don't really need you anymore. Like if I, if I really need iron, I know I can get it. You know, I know I can just do it. So here's my little mini black garden. Um, I have my golden watering can. We're going to like water some of my blackies because this is where I said I farm my black uh, roses because I want to make a black and white garden. Um, so on the other side of my island, I'm storing a bunch of like new black roses, but it, it truly really doesn't matter if you keep watering them over and over. I just do because I feel like it matters. <laughs> and I don't know why this dollhouse is here. I just, I just, I don't know. It's just there. So more like terraforming and stuff like that. Just make it cute. I have waterfalls all over my island. I'm too obsessed. <sighs> Back to the beach. Where is my last damn piece? We have, look, we have four. Where are my communicator parts? I've never played Final Fantasy either because, you know, I don't know. Maybe I should. I'm very, I, the first, I would say like my gateway into like more serious video games by serious. I mean, besides like Super Mario um, is like Fallout, Fallout 4. And, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I get very, like, it overtakes my life. Like, f like the fact that I haven't played this game in a week, that's the first time I've ever gone that long without playing Animal Crossing since I bought it. I've been playing it every, usually every single day. Um, and I was very, very into it. And so the fact that I haven't played in a week. Oh, that sounds cute. What does this look like? Oh, I have one of these. Oh, can't hurt to have two. Um, hmm. Fallout 4 is just an amazing game and it inspired our video for Diamond in the Rough. Um, many of you may know. And I just, I don't, I, why the hell did I get so, I, I just, somebody showed me, well, Jordan showed me really how to invert my controllers because like when I, and Nintendo has it figured out because like right now I want to look up and you just, you push down, I guess. So I need the joystick to do that. Otherwise, I'm a mess and I'm looking all over the place and it's, and it's a hot mess. 
So as soon as somebody taught me how to do that, I was like, oh, I can play video games. Like I can shoot, like I can do all of this stuff. Um, so I just got completely engrossed in Fallout, completely engrossed in Skyrim. Like, so I do get a little afraid to play certain games because I get really afraid that it will just like take over my life and I'll get sucked into the fandom. And like, I, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's not, if you have like, um, <laughs> If you're prone to like going like all out, video games is not the worst thing to be like addicted to, you know, let's be honest. So it's escapism, it's fun, it's calming. Oh, here we go. Yes. All right, finally, two hours later. <laughs> Especially like during quarantine, I feel like Fallout, or sorry, Skyrim was definitely like an escapist thing because as most of you know, like when quarantine first happened, I was, I was supposed to get married and we ended up having to move our wedding. So I don't know, I guess maybe instead of processing it, I just like really like was absorbed into the world of Skyrim and I was like, that's what I did, you know. And like, why did Nintendo know? It's like, did they know? I, do you guys think Animal Crossing would have been this popular if it had come out and it had not been quarantined and we were all not able to do anything besides watch Netflix and hang out in our house? I don't know. I don't know if it would be this popular. Okay, so we're done with him. Let's drop some shit off in the old house. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Duke, are you locked down again? I know a lot of people are. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, I feel like we should be locked down. Like, don't you think if we could just do... If we could just do all... If we could just do two weeks of just nobody leave their house for just two solid weeks and really nobody leave their house, no restaurants, no groceries, nothing, you know, order groceries or whatever. Like, don't you think that would help? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. <sighs> storage. Again, I probably have so many seashells in storage that I'm never going to do anything with, but... I mean, the antique bureau is cute. Does it go? I don't think I have any room. I don't think I have any room in my mad scientist lab for this ant this bureau, but I needed it because it's... Do I have room for this bureau in here? Mm. I mean, I, if I if I get rid of my mushroom lamp, oh, let's just see, see if we like it. I mean, oh shit! Now there's a mushroom lamp in the middle of my room. God, you guys, look how cute that is. I can't not have this in my room. All right, sorry. Sorry, mushroom lamp. But see, if I want to have it, I need light over there. Hmm. Um, so Marcus, I am in Eastern time. It is 8.51 p.m. So I guess when I started the stream the first one it was like seven o'clock so about two hours i've been streaming um i'm gonna store some of this stuff that i don't need i did gulliver i saw him um so I'm going to just show you guys the rest of my island since you are so sweet to be on my first, very ever first Animal Crossing stream ever. 
um, broadcasting live to the Nearly Deads on Facebook and YouTube as well. It's just like a big risk. I've never done anything like this. And I really appreciate you guys um, hanging out and supporting us, supporting the stream. Um, definitely check us out. <laughs> Um, hello to Juan from uh, Mexico watching on YouTube. Thank you for hanging out with us. Talk to the band about getting channel points. Well, I know that we can have subscribers now, but I don't know if I have it set up right. Like we, we definitely made like that status to where we can have subscribers now. Um, and like... So if you guys have been watching my other streams, no, Snowboy, we ain't fucking with you today because I can't. I literally can't today. It's never the right size. It's always a pain in the ass. All right. So here's my little wedding area. I have some overgrown white roses, <laughs> but this is my wedding area. Obviously, I like I said, I was going to get married earlier this year. We've moved it earlier last year. I'm going to moving it to this year. Um, so, of course, I had to have a little wedding outdoor wedding um this is my little like woodsy area for igly this is igly's little house if you guys have not seen igly's house um so hungry tortoise if you don't see the subscription it's probably just because we haven't set it up i feel like we have to probably set it up otherwise i feel like we would have already had some subscri subscribers i don't know it's one of those things like you get an email like, oh, congratulations, you've made a, like affiliate status. You can have subscribers and it's like, okay, cool. And then like you forget about it. We probably have to do something. Um, Look at Igly. He's so cute. I low key kind of want him to move out though because I'm just kind of over it. Like he's a jock and that's not really very exciting to me. But he's super cute and his house is so cute. And very Christmassy. But I want this tree. And I never got this tree. Illuminated tree. How do I get one of those? Mm, I don't know. I think it's a Christmas item. I think I missed my chance to get it. Uh, so, so yeah. We're new to like... As a band, we're new to Twitch. As... Um, as a band, we're new to Twitch. And like I said, I want to do games. I want to do live streams. We'll just chat sometimes. Um, but it's kind of about like, like from what I hear, um, from what I, what was I going to say? From what I hear, it's better to set a schedule, like to stream at like the same time every week. So like sometimes there's going to be a bunch of people, sometimes maybe not so much, but just the same time every week um, and just build a little community. So I'm really looking forward to it, but... Um, oh, don't you just love it when you pluck a flower instead of doing the shit that you're <laughs> trying to do? Uh, and also, like, I, I hope to connect with some other, like, Animal Crossing just people on here because I'm obsessed with this game. I'm just obsessed with Animal Crossing and I love my Switch. And I haven't played in a week, so there's weeds everywhere. Um, so that was Igly's little foresty area. This, um, I finally, so if you have an island and you don't have, um, Juan, thank you so much. Gracias, Juan. Um, I have this little pond on my island because you, there's the only way to get koi fish and certain goldfish and others if you have a pond. So... Um, if you kind of terraform your island and remove your original pond, you will have to make another one or you will never find those fish until you get on an island that has them. So this is the entrance to my graveyard. So this is really the most nearly dead part of the island. I have my gravestones. I have another one of the, um, I just love this. The organs from the wedding. I have the white one in my house and I have this one out here. Um, I just love it. And then I have my purple roses, my black roses. Ooh, a balloon. So that is my graveyard. 
one of my favorite um, areas on my island for sure. One of my favorite outdoor areas. Um, do, 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 do. Now we have to wait for the balloon. <laughs> so I think somebody in the last stream, like before, before it cut off again, was asking about like anybody in the chat, like what kind of other music and other bands that you guys like listening to. That's always something fun to chat about. Or other games that you guys like playing. I love hearing about like other games that you guys like. Um, and games to check out. Movies to check out too. Oh my God, let's talk about this. Um, I just watched the movie Tenet. T-E-N-E-T, -E -E Tenet. And it was absolutely mind-blowingly incredible. Here is another one of my favorite, my little island. I made it a red, white, and blue island um, because I was, I was getting so many blue flowers and I really didn't want to get rid of them. And so I just kind of, like, this was going to be even remember it wasn't I never really wanted a rainbow garden here um I I never like it was just kind of like random flowers all over the place and then I just decided to do red white and blue I wanted them to all be like roses and everything like the same flower so it's kind of like it's kind of messy it's not like super perfect um I've got like a mixture of different types of flowers I'm just a little too lazy to over to like do it but I feel like what I want to do in the future, maybe on a future stream, is really, like, revamp that area. Oh, no chance. Just really revamp this and maybe, like, redesign. I, I love it, but, like, maybe redo the flowers or put some different decor in here. Because this is one of the first things I ever did on my island. I did this before I could terraform. So there's no... There was no chance of me putting like waterfalls or cliffs or anything on this area. It's just like a flat garden. Um, I mean, I love it. It's one of the, like I said, it's one of the first things I did. Um, I clearly have some overgrown flowers because I have not played in a week. Um, but this is, an, this is my little um, sushi, my little ramen restaurant. So we have my little table, my little chairs. I have more goldfish over here um and my like bamboo trees i love the bamboo tree. i think they're so beautiful and in the snow they're even prettier like just the color of them and everything and i guess i have kind of a cottagey kind of a vibe because i have the stone path throughout my island um hello john how are you um and also piggy on youtube i am having a great day it's a great night actually um so there's again my little i don't know what i would call this area like the zen it was a zen garden and then i completely redid it because i really didn't i kept getting these really cool i kept getting these really cool items that i wanted to like use and i just like um i had this little sushi i love this little pattern this little like lucky cat pattern oh and then there's this thing That everyone's mind gets blown that you can actually like that something actually pops out of that okay so from auto since you asked try listening to fifth dawn and playing the long dark we'll check them out thriving and surviving i dig that definitely Branches always fall there, and it's always a pain in the ass, so. So, yeah, that was actually, that's Stitch's house. He's not there. I like this little courtyard that I've made. I feel like it has a really pretty view of, like, the garden up there. I was, I'm very into, like, the symmetry of the island and then making everything look, like, pretty in a picture. So, I love that area. And if you go back here, this is, like, kind of my path to the secret beach. But I don't, I mean, I'll probably redo this area. 
at some point as well and make it like really cute and built up. But for now, it's just kind of like where the trash goes <laughs> and the weeds grow. Um, but I kind of wanted it to look like, I see some really, really cute paths to the secret beach, but like, I don't know, mine is just kind of like, I want it to be secret because like, if you were just like, you would never know that, that there was anything behind there. I kind of try to camouflage it with the tree and everything to make it look. There's so much more to see on my island. This is Poppy's house. I love Poppy. She's so cute. So she is the little squirrel and her house is so cute. Let's go see her house. Her house is the cutest. I'm obsessed with her and she loves to read. And so she puts little glasses on and she reads. She's just very cute. Oh, hi. And look at how cute her house is. I love Poppy's house. It's just, it's always fall. It's always so cute. Huh. I need to get her a record player though. I thought she had one. Hmm. Cause this, it, it'd be quiet in here. <laughs> Oh my god, Sherb's birthday! I'll definitely stream on Sherb's birthday. Listen, I don't know why she has a trash can because I pro she probably was like, Oh my god, can I have a trash can and you have one? Can I have it? And I just gave it to her because you do that. And then they put it in their room. And th one time, I, you know, if they say they, they want a present and you give them a, like, and you don't have something to give to them, they'll get really mad if you don't give them anything. So one time I didn't have anything on deck and so I just gave her a fucking sea bass and now she has a giant one in her room. So annoying. But her house is adorable. And I love this little area that I built. When I realized that you could jump over the stones, I was like, oh, game over. Like, this is so cute. It looks like Mario. Um, so back again, circling back to like the rainbow garden, but like, it, this reminds me of like Super Mario Brothers so much. So, ooh, and you can jump pretty far. Never know what to do with the space behind buildings, especially when you build them on cliffs. It's like, it blocks so much of your play view area. So this is the hot chocolate bar. This was very like wintry. So this will probably like, as soon as it starts getting more like springtime, all of this is probably gonna go. Like, I don't really need all these pumpkins. And my pumpkin spot's not even that cute. I saw something that somebody that had like their oranges in one row and their greens in another row and their yellows and their whites. Like they had every color all laid out cute. And mine I just like let grow because I was so obsessed with just like, I need to plant as many as possible so I can get all the Halloween DIYs. Another little cute area. Oh, and Opal is another one of my new villagers. She was very cute. Um, I got her on a whim and I'm so glad I did because she's super cute. She listens to like... Hip hop or something? It doesn't make any sense. Because, like, her room is, like, it's, she has a fucking hot tub in her room. It's, like, so elegant. I love it. <laughs> Take some you time, darling. Like, she just gets me. I love the sno snobby villagers. Like, <laughs> um, I think it's because I'm low-key probably a little snobby myself. So... Um, <laughs> hey, John on Facebook, thank you for <laughs> tuning in to my kooky live stream of me showing everyone my Animal Crossing Island. Uh, <laughs> um, like, right, Marcus, isn't her cute, his song so cute? Like, do do do. Like, it's, I did not expect her song to be like that because she's like a snooty villager. So whenever I'm like looking for new villagers, like on a hunt, I'm always looking for somebody who's either cute or just I don't know who I think will be like interesting to interact with and so I got her like totally on a whim without she wasn't like an a like she's not like a top rated character but I think she's great because I just love what she says because I myself am probably just a bit snooty so this is Sherb's house 
He has, I mean, obviously he's my favorite because his house is turquoise. It's my favorite color. He's turquoise. I can't believe he's home after his date with Chevre. Hmm. Um, <laughs> but like, again, oh, and he has, because he's a goat, I gave him the pan flute. <laughs> I low-key, like in my island, he's like low-key like a Satanist. Like he's low-key like a real goat, like he's Beelzebub or whatever, like... I know this is not how the game should be played, but like, that's in my mind. He's like, like when he puts on, I gave him like this black sweater and I'm like, oh my God, when he puts that on, I'm just like, oh yeah, he gets it. Like, anyway, so he has his guitar. Like I said, all my, most of my villagers have like guitars in their yard or whatever. Cause I assume that everyone on my island is a musician. Um, <laughs> And then when you see the inside of his house, it's like, oh my God. And the music, again, the music. Oh, there it is, there we go, okay. It's creepy, right? He, there's something going on with Sherb. Like there's something there, right? Oh my god, did you hear that? It actually makes a gulping sound when he drinks his drink. That is fucking so cute. Like, a teal is my favorite color. His whole room is teal. I'm obsessed. I need this whole bed set of furniture, and I will never have it. And I love the purple wall, and he is just so cute. But, like, this song? It's creepy. The song is creepy. Right? Something's up with him. And he has the horns, so he, he just reminds me of, like, you know, Black Phillip. <laughs> he has a hidden basement? I, no, you're fucking with me. He doesn't. See, what is he talking about? I have a secret collection. What do you guys think it is? Is it, um... Hey, hey, Angel um, on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. Um, for anyone who's just tuning in, this is my first time streaming my Animal Crossing obsession with you guys and sharing my island with anybody publicly. So um, it's a really special moment. So thank you guys so much for tuning in because I dropped the stream like three times because my internet sucks. And it's just, <laughs> it's been a roller coaster of emotions tonight. Literally, what do you guys think is in Sherb's collection? He's a masochist. Oh my god, it's probably some weird sex dungeon stuff, or like, I don't know. What do you guys think it is? Like, I I I immediately think it's something just evil. Everything is a collectible if you think about it. He's collecting hair from my other villagers. I bet you. Chavray's hair. Um, uh, thank you, Angel. I appreciate that. I uh, appreciate the comment. Um, New Year has been good. How's everyone else's New Year's gone? I mean, it's weird. Like, we're still wearing masks everywhere, and that's kind of weird, but um, been safe so far. Um, I mean, Trump got impeached for a second time today, so that was good for us Americans. Oh, <laughs> hungry tortoise. He collects the unwanted potential villagers. Maybe he collects their, like, teeth. Oh, no, guys. He just collects... <gasps> he said toenails! Oh, my God. He said toenails. He collects toenails. He's fucking weird. He a freak. I don't know how to feel about this, but I, I, I love it. Low key. I don't collect toenails, but, like, I can respect... That's so fucking weird. That's so weird and creepy. And it just, like, it just reminds me of, like, um, like an oddity shop. Like, that's what I feel like he would be. Like, he's kind of like this hipster who has, like, an oddity shop. And there's, like, a, a, a curio cabinet full of toenails. <laughs> toenails and, and skulls and teeth and... 
uh yeah collectibles like bugs comic like like the bug collectibles that you can make i really wanted to do like an oddities room with more of the bug collectibles but it just doesn't really the aesthetics of the game doesn't really lend itself to like anything like that so old candy wrappers too really sure he's a hoarder he's not a hoarder he's my favorite villager he can't be a hoarder but <sighs> <laughs> Um, all right. All right, Sherb. He's just drinking tea. Just look how cute he is. His house is so cute. All right, Sherb. Now that we know you collect toenails, you freak. Wow. That's weird. Like what even? I will look at him in a new light from now on. You're going to have to tell me what Diogene sim sy syndrome is. If I, if I want to know. There we go. Make the chat a little bit bigger for everybody. This is cute though. I think that, I mean, I think for my first time ever streaming on the Switch, it went relatively well, even though the stream dropped out a few times, but a couple people watching you know we're vibing we're bopping to kk bubblegum and talking about music and this is fun so definitely going to do this more in the future i know i should be paying attention to catching the snowflakes but i honestly have a ton uh, mm, 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 mm. i will definitely do more streams like this for sure um and they will be probably much more polished prepared and put together in the future also they might not be um ghost bud i don't have a i don't have a dream address quite yet um i've been a little this is my first time ever showing my island publicly so um this is my first time oh okay I didn't know there was a real syndrome because I, I, I uh, am a hoarder's aficionado like the show. I have watched the show, but they never mentioned that syndrome. They, um, oh, and Alex is making a discord. Yay. So exciting. When that's done, we will definitely like join it and share it and do all the things. Um, oh my God. Yes. Yes. You know, Okay. The, occult, the underserved occult community, yes. So I, I kind of toyed around with the idea of having an like, occult island. I mean, like you saw my... Um, I have tiny... I have a fortune teller area. I have the uh, graveyard. And I have my back room, which is kind of like my study or my like kind of oddities type room. Where I have like that model, like the, um, the life-size anatomical model and the like the, the chemistry kit and all of that so like I get that yes 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 I need an oddity shop I need to clear some space on my island to like make something like that but it's got to be perfect and not like not anything that's going to get you booted from Nintendo <laughs> I have one pentagram on my island and like the last thing I need is somebody's like kid you know, come into my island and then, you know, I'm a grown ass woman. Did Nintendo know that like grown people were going to be playing the game way more than kids? Ooh, finally, a shooting star. There's my leaning town of Pisa. This is like my Parisian cafe that I'm in right now. Um, so this is my other, like, my live meet. So I don't really have, like, a band set up. Like, a lot of people on their islands have, like, stages, lights, and band. Like, an outdoor stage with, like, electric instruments and drum kits and stuff like that. But I... I don't know. I like having it in my basement in my house. Yes! I'm getting so many stars today, you guys! Yes! Yes! Yeah. Okay. More stars! Yeah, Hungry Tortoise, you're right. I think they have added, like, 
when I got the fortune teller set, I was like, oh, like a crystal ball and some tarot cards. I was like, mm, this is awesome. It totally changed my whole, I was like, if you're going to get shit like this in the game, like this changes the game. This makes it way more fun. Like it's for, it's really for anybody. Like whether you're, whatever you're into, if you're into occult, if you're into goth culture, if you're into Japanese culture, if you're into cutesy, if you're into you know, cottagey, you know, antiquey, whatever. It's like something for everybody. Ah, oh, I love this game so much. Um, so here's my little, I love the cello. The cello is V expensive. And then the little harp I love. I'll have to stream like during the day one of these days because you're only seeing this at night. It looks way cuter. It lo Well, not way cuter, but it looks totally different during the day as well. And so another little coffee shop. This thing is really creepy and cute too. Do y'all know this did this? It's like a creepy little box. Too many waterfalls. <laughs> so, if, if and when there is a curiosity shop, like, that's definitely going in it. That's a weird, creepy circus thing. Like, oh, definitely. Am I bothering you, honey? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I've been streaming for, like, forever. I've been streaming for, like, two hours. I probably should stop. And then continue playing on my Switch in bed, because that's what the Switch is good for. Um. All right, Marcus, thank you so much for joining. Um, I will see you again, you probably next Wednesday for sure. So thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. You are the best. Um, Angel, do you still make music? Of course we do. The, well, the nearly does like back in action. Let me say we did take a hiatus for a while. Um, I, we took a hiatus. We just released Can't Make You Change. I made the lyric video. It's on our YouTube channel. So check that out. Uh, we are planning an acoustic album this year and a full length album because we have been on hiatus. We haven't done much. We don't, we, we were totally like not on social media for a while. Like we just kind of took a pause, you know, and then COVID came about and you're all quarantined and just, you start thinking about like what you want to do in life and where you want to be. It just gave everybody, um, gave everybody a, um, a chance to kind of reflect and take some time to focus on family and stuff like that. So, um, we've definitely talked about that in like previous streams and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, nearly does ain't going nowhere. No problem. It nearly does for no reason. Um, this is my, one of my other very favorite isle, uh, areas on my Island. Um, thank you for the follow Timmy. Um, appreciate it. Everybody in the band has been really great, actually. Uh, we're so happy to be reconnecting and writing together. Uh, I think Steve and Javier did a stream the other day, um, and we started a TikTok, and we're just like, we're just going for it. We're just having fun now. Um, yeah, so I got Stonehenge from Gulliver, and I was like, oh my god, stop the presses. I have to redo my whole island to make a... Um, well, I mean, we haven't streamed, we don't stream regularly and we haven't streamed for very long. I think I started back in like October. So like a couple times a month, really. I mean, no. So we're just getting into it and starting to like learn our schedule and like learn, you know, and we just want to stream what we want to do. So I'm going to be streaming games. That was the whole point or the whole, um, what am I going to say? vision like the vision for the nearly deads live on twitch is to like have a little bit of everything so q a's chats um i've done a few where i play piano live and then people can tip me and that really helps out a lot um you know tips and any donations you guys make really help a lot with keeping you know keeping the stream going i also have a patreon a personal patreon and i have new music uh new solo music coming out soon um so just busy 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 like tons on my plate very grateful for the work and for everything going on. Um, 
cool. So my Stonehenge area and this kind of like, this is a little overgrown as well, I will admit, because it's very difficult to just keep up with plucking flowers and throwing them away. I usually have, I usually have a garbage can on me so that way I can pick flowers and throw them away because they take up space and, um, do, do. They're just, it's so overgrown. It's not cute. I like it, everything to be like perfect and cute. So maybe one day on my stream, I will literally just clean up my flowers on my island. But this is another one of my favorite spots. I mean, look how gorgeous this game, the design of this game, the color, just everything about this game is just so well done. It's just gorgeous. You, you can hear like the ocean, the moon is right. Everything, things look very realistic, even though it's very cartoonish. It's just beautiful. Well, thank you, Angel. I am so happy to hear that. Thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm super grateful as well that you guys are just like down to watch me play Animal Crossing. And nobody is like, less talk, more rock. <laughs> if you guys, you know, I just feel like if you're not here for the whole thing, then that's, then you're not here. I don't know, I guess. I got a lot of shooting stars though. I can't wait to go to my beach tomorrow morning. That used to be really exciting for me to like go to the beach. Yeah, Black Phillip living up here, sure. That's why he has the black uh, thingy. <laughs> Watering fountain. No, wait, what's that called? <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't even know. Ooh, Skyrim next stream. Should I re... Oh my god. Sh I have Outer Worlds now, too. Jordan keeps reminding me because he bought it for me. He's like, when are you going to play it? I've had it for like a month and I haven't it. whipped it out of the box. Do you guys want to hear Skyrim? Here. Do you want to Do you want to watch me play? I'm so used to performing, doing band shit. It's, it's going to be Skyrim or Outer Worlds. Skyrim, am I going to restart or I don't know. I'm pretty far in the game. I'm almost, I have like beaten the game and I'm pretty far in it. But if I remember all the controls, I can show you guys like my house and like everything. So that would be really cool. Um, and I really like streaming with the Switch because I'm just, I'm able to sit in my desk area and do this with streaming from the PS4 or the PS5. I really don't know how. <sighs> mm. It's like, I really don't know without bringing my computer. I have a, a desktop. I don't have a laptop, so. I'd have to bring that into the living room and like where the TV is and it's just like a pain in the dick. So I don't think I'm going to do that, but <laughs> I love that I can have just switch just sitting right here and plug it in. Boop, boop, boop. Here we go. Like I say that like it was so easy, but it definitely wasn't. It was definitely frustrating as hell. And then I've still had issues with dropping streams and the audio being, <laughs> oh my God, no. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> if I play Skyrim, I'm going to sing all the Skyrim songs. Like, rah, like, oh my god, I can't. Dovahkiin, Dovahkiin, da 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 It's just going to annoy the shit out of Jordan and all of you guys. And I just got really excited thinking about doing it. Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, ooh. <laughs> Outer Worlds so you don't get in trouble. I love Outer Worlds. Now, Outer Worlds, I would have to start over because I've never played it on Switch. I, my old game is on the PS4, and it probably got erased because we have a PS5 now, so. And Jordan bought that with his money, so. That was a whole discussion that was had. <laughs> um... Da -da -da. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Like, Jordan bought me the Animal Crossing special edition of the Switch, so he takes care of me. He is a big gamer, and so basically, he uh, 
he kind of encourages my gaming habits. Like he bought me Animal Crossing. Like I was not gonna buy it. I was like sixty dollars for a game. I can't afford that. But he's a sweet guy. What can I say? Oh, Abel's is closed, and I didn't go in there today. Damn. Oh well, it wasn't meant to be. And then here's my little fortune teller area. Well, Celeste is not on my island, although I have like a shitload of shooting stars tonight. I have not seen Miss Celeste. But I guess you don't always get her. I guess you don't always have her. Um, yeah, Angel, you can definitely use our music for animation. As long, we are, we are always cool with anything that gives our music more ears. Damn, I hate when I pick flowers instead of picking what I really want to pick. Um, anything that gets our music out there to more people, we definitely encourage. Um, just give us credit and, you know, as long as you're not making any money off of something, then that's fine with us. Do, 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 do. No Celeste. Hmm. All right, y'all. <laughs> Riften is very piratey. Uh, where is my... I haven't played in so long, but I have... Hey, babe. Where is my house in Skyrim? Where's the house that I bought, the big one? The what, what's the place with all the cliffs? Winterhelm? Windhelm? What's the name of the big house there? Oh, I, so I played, um... Look at, there I am. One person's watching on, on, and it's me. One person's watching on YouTube and it's me. <laughs> That's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, this is my first time. Um, okay. Solitude? That doesn't sound right. Big homes in Skyrim. Are you Googling it too? Best house locations. Biggest house. That's not it. That looks cool. Nope. more houses in Skyrim. All Skyrim houses. Um, hmm. I was a Khajiit the first time I played Skyrim and then I played again as I don't remember the name of it. But it's kind of like the um They're like humans, but not really. They're kind of like mutant humans. Oh my God, everyone's gonna be like, you don't know what you're talking about. Hells, houses and Elder Scrolls. Vindrel Hall, that's what I have. In Markarth. Yeah, that's what I have. Because the view, because when you walk out of it, yeah, so I guess I'll have to show you guys that. <laughs> okay. I have Vindral Hall. 
Okay. <laughs> orc. Yes, I am an orc. Yes. Because I was going to say, it's, it reminds me of the thing from Fallout, because there's orcs in, in Fallout, too. Or there's orcs in Lord of the Rings. I don't know. I'm not the... No, I'm an orc. I think, right? Am I an orc, babe? An elf? Wait. Skyrim... No, no, um. I'm a Breton. I'm a Bret. I'm a Breton. Not an orc. I thought I was. And I pick them for because they are of elven ancestry. Um, I pick them for some reason. But the second time I, I'm a Breton. Yes, Brenton. Breton? Breton? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Okay. So, yes. I see no Celeste, so I think our time here is coming to an end. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you guys bearing with me through the technical difficulties and my frustrations when it shuts down. But so far, I've been streaming for over an hour and, like, not one drop. So I think it might have had something to do with the, uh, the PlayStation being uh, online at the same time. But who knows? Probably still not a bad idea to invest in a better router. Um, but, yeah. Alrighty. Well. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll play more Animal Crossing. Maybe we'll play more uh, some Skyrim. But I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for indulging me in my crazy... Um, it's my crazy hobbies outside of music. It's fun to chat about music and also about games. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to head out for tonight. Um, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>